Hi everyone, welcome hey. to RV Afterlife um, and also welcome to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Uh, we have reached almost the end of our two weeks in Idaho and uh, we have made our way up uh, to the northernmost part we're going to go. And as usual, we're going to pick a few things in Coeur d'Alene to do. Uh, we tried to go to the visitor center, but they're closed. For construction. Yeah, but anyway, so we're going to walk around downtown. The uh, the lakefront is very picturesque, and I'll even show you some of the statues, like the one that's standing behind us. The Everyman. Uh, the Everyman. So, um, yeah, let's go take a look. Well, we'll start with a little downtown picture statue tribute. Uh, as you can see, there are five different statues and they are just tribute statues to farmers, loggers, coal miners. Um, this one here, I think says it's pretty much a tribute to everybody. Uh, just, it says also, thank you for um, you have made our country great and prosperous. So, very cool bronze statues. And there's, there's the, 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 big, the, the big blue statue. <laughs> Are you leaving the farmer? Yeah, we're leaving the farmer. Come on down here and we'll uh, show the tribute to uh, um, women's suffrage. A bunch of obnoxious old women's. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't hear that. There's a lot of art projects and beautifully landscaped. Uh, we're just probably about two blocks away from the lake itself. Under the Rainbow is the name of the sculpture. It's a nice little memorial park. Um, it's like in honor of a, a fallen police officer. The waterfall is beautiful. And then this one says, In valor there is hope, respect. As long as there are men and women among us who are willing to put their lives at risk for our freedom and safety, there is indeed great hope for the future of the nation and our world. This one says, it is not how these officers died that makes them heroes, it is how they live. Remember, lion image based on the work of acclaimed sculptor Raymond Caskey from the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C., conveying the strength, courage, and valor that are hallmarks of those who serve and protect. We just saw that this area is called McEwen Park. It's a perfect, beautiful day. It is the 1st of September and I would say it's probably in the oh, 74 degrees in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Well, this will give you goosebumps, but they have a Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in this garden. It says, soldiers never die until they are forgotten. Let us never forget. This is Mudgy the Famous Mule, and this trail, which it doesn't say how long some of the trails are, uh, actually have these statues throughout the trail for kids to climb on and uh, just to have fun. But the summit is 2,500 feet up, so that's, eh, that's a little much. Okay, so we were thinking that the Centennial Trail was some little trail that wound around Coeur d'Alene, but when we asked Google how long it is, it says 
the 995 mile Idaho Centennial Trail weaves through the most scenic portions of Idaho's wild country, from high deserts and canyonlands in the southern Idaho to wet mountain forests in northern Idaho. I guess we're not walking the whole thing. How are you? So you know how much I'm digging this. Look at all of these flowers. One of these days I'm gonna have a job like that. What is, what is this digging? It? Some <laughs> digging kind of hippie. <laughs> I had read about this boardwalk that uh, one of the longest wooden boardwalks in North America. Not on wood. Well, out there it is. And that's what they claim. I think that's probably a composite stuff. It's such a downer. They say they call it wooden. Look at there, you can even take seaplane rides. Okay, you're right, it's wood. <laughs> I don't like the way it moves though. <laughs> well, looks like we can get our steps in. We got our steps in. <laughs> well, I mean like climbing steps. Oh, that's a new twist. <laughs> now we gotta climb them. Makes me think of Alan Jackson's uh, no, <laughs> no, the boat, the old wooden boat. What's? Drive for daddy. Yeah, drive. What did you say that boat is? It's a Brand name. Oh, it's one of the resorts boats. As you can see, there is a public uh, swimming beach, quite a bit of beach actually. The downside of it is there is very few places to park in this area that you don't have to pay for. We happened to find a two hour free parking spot downtown on the, one of the off streets. You can see the cruise boats getting ready to go out into the lake. I don't know if I mentioned this, but no, he just came out from that dock and turned around. Um, Lake Coeur d'Alene is almost a 42 acre, 40 42 square mile, lake. square mile uh, lake. And the, the cruises that you're seeing, uh, they go out twice a day. We have not looked to see what pricing is. They also have a Sunday brunch one. Okay, so there is a less commercial, no, 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 less touristy uh, part of Coeur d'Alene where you have all the business centers and stuff like that. But this is, um, looks like restaurants. Yep. Well. Yeah, restaurants and I don't know, Pubs. past a game room or a, what do they call that? Uh, escape room. Escape room. Look at the. about eight blocks of this kind of tourist fun stuff. Uh, shops, restaurants with outdoor seating, 
beautiful flowers and trees. In addition to all the touristy fun, there are also lots of great places uh, with art on the street that you can get your selfie with them. So as to not upset YouTube or by getting any kids that you can discern into my video, I just wanted to show you this really cool little park in the downtown area. I saw online that they have a splash pad as well. But lots of playground equipment, basketball courts, uh, tennis courts. Very nice. And I think the trail or the bicycle trail comes through here, it looks like. But that's what that is. We apparently forgot to film a closing so i hope you enjoyed this little glimpse of Coeur d'Alene um we'll see you in the next video